Reinforcement learning is making a huge comeback thanks to DeepSeek models. Researchers have tried to replicate the success of DeepSeek, but at a very smaller scale. See, DeepSeek R10 worked. A lot of people might be thinking it could be the scale of the data that is resulting in a greater model. But what people have figured out is that, can I take the same reinforcement learning recipe and apply it to a smaller model? And that is exactly what we are going to see in this video, where there is a 7 billion parameter model, which we all almost at this point use, with just 8,000 examples. So there is no scale in terms of the model parameters. There is no scale in terms of the data that they're going to use. And there is no supervised fine tuning. And there is no reward model, just pure simple reinforcement learning recipe. And then they figured out that there is two things happening magically. One is that in model started producing longer chain of thought. And two, there is an emergence of self reflection. The model itself started having this conversation, the internal conversation where it says, Oh, this is a contradiction. We must have made a mistake. Let's try again. And this is what we're going to cover in this video. The paper is not yet released, but these researchers have released their findings uh, as a Twitter thread. And also they have released it in a GitHub repo if you want to replicate it. So what is this paper about? What is this research about? So they've got 7 billion parameter model. And uh, this is a Quen 2.5 math 7 billion parameter model. This is not an instruction fine tuned model, just a pure uh, base model. So it has not gone through any kind of alignment. It has not gone through any kind of supervised fine tuning in this case. So what they wanted to do is they wanted to replicate what deep seek models did. So they wanted to see if we can use reinforcement learning without any supervised fine tuning without any reward model, just with 8000 math examples. These examples are picked from math data set. And with that examples, the 8000 examples, they managed to find that their model has scored 33.3% on AIME, a math data set, a benchmark, 62.5% on AMC and 77% on math. This is outperforming the instruct fine tune model. So this is the base model and this is the instruct fine tune model and the reinforcement learning model that they trained outperforms this model, even though this model was trained using a lot of data set. So and being comparable to prime, and R star math that use 50 times more data. So with less amount of data, they have figured out that at some point the model has increased the chain of thought length and the model has also got our emerging capability of self reflection. And that is the detail in this particular blog post where you can go see here the main information that I gave you here. But what I'm going to jump directly into is how the reinforcement learning recipe worked here. So this is a very simple reinforcement learning recipe and the recipe is directly taken from deep seek R1 paper. So their recipe is to use PPO algorithm. This is a, a reinforcement learning algorithm in this particular case. And they've employed a simple rule based reward function. So any Dean reinforcement learning, you need some kind of like a reward function. So they have employed a rule based reward function. How is it The as it, it gives rewards? based on the format and correctness of the generated response. So if the final response provided, if the response provides a final answer in the specified format and it is correct, it receives a reward of plus one. If the response, this is like the math question. Imagine there is a math question and somebody has to answer. The answer has two parts. One is the correct format. The second one is the answer itself should be correct. So if the response provided a final answer, but it is incorrect. So then the reward is set to minus 0.5. If the response fails to provide a correct answer, then the reward is set to minus one. And the implementation of RL uh, reinforcement learning in this case is based on open RLHF. They have got multiple other experiments here. So this, this is the one that I'm describing is the part one. And they've got another part two with something called imitation warm up, which I'm not going to discuss right now. But what you can see right now is just with the simpler one, they have uh, figured out that it gets a really, really good score. And at some point, which deep seek paper said as the aha moment, same thing is happening here at step 40. So if you see here, they've got multiple steps, 0, 20, 40, 60. At step 40, they have figured out that the model has started having emerging self reflection discussion. So at step 40, the model is saying, Oh, let's recheck the setup. So model started having the self reflection at step 40. 
without them having to explicitly do any kind of self reflection training or any kind of self reflection supervised fine tuning and if you if you see the comparison okay so if you just purely see the benchmarks deep seeks uh, approach is what they've used here and then they're calling this model as simple rl0 this is base model is quen 2.5 math 7 billion parameter model and for all these models this is the base model the same base model that they've used and there is no supervised fine tuning data here meanwhile for the math 7 billion instruct model there is 2.5 million instruct data set that was used and uh, you have got like numina math here and you have got some other data set here 236,000 30,000 and they have used also a reward model and there is a reward model in place. And here in this particular case, only RL reinforcement learning is used just with 8,000 queries with eight samples. And this model has done a much, 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 much better. So you can see here the simple reinforcement learning, the approach that we saw, which is not the zero one, the simple reinforcement learning itself has scored an average of 50.9. And you can see that this is beating every other model, similar size, but a different approach. This is just derived from the base model. And you can see this finally one particular chart, which actually shows what is happening here. Like the emergence of reasoning pattern, you can see here at this particular point, the model that was initially using code for generation for reasoning started producing detailed responses. And at this particular point, which is like around 40 steps, the model started having an emergence of self reflection. So model is saying, oh, this is a contradiction. We must have made a mistake. Let's try again. The numerator of the left side is so it started doing it. So there is code, then there is longer chain of thought and there is then emergence of self reflection just from existing data set of math, M-A-T-H math data set. And you can go see here more details around like how they have improved it with a different reinforcement learning, which in this case is the imitation warm up. And you can see like what other things in terms of benchmarks the model has done. I think for us, the primary learning here is that the reinforcement learning is making a comeback. I'm not sure how many of you know, but when OpenAI started, people were experimenting with something called OpenAI Gym. And that was primarily about, you know, the reinforcement learning algorithm. There was like, I think, deep CQ and something I, if I I'm not like remembering exactly rightly. So there were like a lot of reinforcement learning algorithm interest enthusiasts back in then. So, you know, stick would walk, fall down, get up, go back. So a lot of interest was there. And somehow when uh, these transformer based large language models came into picture, people kind of like forgot what to do with that and then started moving into the supervised fine tuning direction. But I'm very happy to see one, first of all, deep seek R1 at that scale is doing extremely well, but also at a smaller scale, I think the approach that they've taken might give a really good boost for smaller models. So anything that you can run on your computer might have a really effective model with this kind of an approach. We have to see more uh, independent research around this, but for now go enjoy this paper, the details around it. And also they've shared the code if you want to train it for a different data set. See you in another video. Happy prompting.